Hey Libra, welcome back guys. I hope you all are doing well today. This is going to be for <clears throat> anybody with Libra placements in their chart, okay? Just take um, what resonates and Libra doesn't fit for your situation. And also remember to flip and switch the roles, guys. Um, please be aware that there are scammers down below in the comment section. You know, people pretending to be me. So if the name is not highlighted in gray, it is not me replying back to your comment. And if there are fake pages reaching out to you on other platforms outside of YouTube, it is also obviously not me. Um, my platform handles are going to be down below in the description box, okay? So Libra, let's see what's going on with you all. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, please return your spell work. Any dark magic that is sent upon the collective and their loved ones, me and my loved ones, return it back to the sender. <clears throat> Allow me to channel the messages I need to channel for Libra today, spirit. Clear and concise messages for Libra. Let's see. What's going on for Libra? Okay, the star. Okay, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra. So... Or you got have Aquarius in your chart. So I'm getting inspirational here, motivational. Um, you guys could be in a, a pretty creative energy right now. But I see um, things shifting for the better, okay? If it, there's any, any problems or anything happening here um, in your life, I feel like there's going to be a positive outcome, a positive turnaround in a situation. Um, I'm getting you keeping your faith. You have very strong faith here. You could be very spiritual too, very creative as well. But, um, and some of you guys could also be seen in the public eye. You guys could even be celebrities, famous, or you're up and coming stars. I don't know, but this, I like seeing the star first though. <laughs> I really do. Um, this could be healing as well. Yeah. Four swords. <laughs> Excuse me. You could be healing here. Okay. But I like that. Okay. Let's see what else. You could be healers. Wow. Yeah. Two of cups. Oh, Libra. <laughs> okay, someone could have a Cancer Venus and a Capricorn Mars. So I'm getting a partnership. If you've been wishing for a partnership or wishing for somebody in particular, I mean, I guess we're going to see what this is and maybe who this is here. But there's a partnership coming in. This could be a business partnership. You could meet somebody at work and they're going to turn into your lover. All right, and not every connection can be like that. Some of them can't, some of them can, right? It's different for everybody. But um, I see a collaboration. I see um, recognition too for your hard work. I feel like you have really good work ethic. You do a lot of inner work, which indicates that you could be ready for a nice relationship. You know what you want. I'm getting like you've passed some sort of like test. It could be karmic tests here that you've been through with certain soulmates, certain people in your life. And I feel like spirit is granting you this wish, whatever it could be for you. I mean, it looks like a partnership, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could be in love with somebody. Okay. And, um, it's coming in. This card says reconciliation. So you could be reconciling with somebody, but let's see. You're getting ready to go into a contract here with the three of pentacles. This could be networking here. Maybe you're going to go out and as you're networking for business or something like that, you're going to meet somebody. You could be meeting a star here. Or you are the star that somebody is meeting. Okay, wow, the devil. Mm. There's something here. Some of you guys are scared to like put yourself out there. <laughs> okay, I'm getting like it's fear. You're fearful of... um. Putting yourself out there. Like, maybe you don't want too much attention here, Libra. I get it. <laughs> Truly, I do. Um, This could also be 411 on the timer. Maybe need to go look up those numbers. But 737 on the clock. Okay, 737. But this could definitely be you breaking free of something here. I feel like you're not restricted from something anymore. Um, You're, you're healing some sort of, like, ego here. Or um, fear. Or any kind of things that could be going on with you i was gonna say obsessions here you could be breaking free from somebody that's obsessed with you or um, some sort of like illusion that was here what else for libra the five of pentacles 
right under the two of cups so yeah there's somebody here that you're in love with or that you love or whatever that has left you on the code or made you feel abandoned but like i said some of you guys could be healing this here it's like you're healing um abandonment codependencies uh maybe being too possessive in a connection or it could be anything but something here where you can't or could not love properly or could not love somebody properly here yeah ten of swords is definitely a betrayal hmm somebody could be trying to like cast illusions around a connection <laughs> ten of cups yeah <laughs> so wow okay four of pentacles yeah the page i mean the yeah there's some bullshit here four of pentacles the um hangman page of pentacles and the five of swords and it's crazy because under this three of pentacles i'm getting ten of cups now i'm picking up third party energy all right i'm picking up third party energy because it's crazy how this two of cups here this is a two a, a, a monogamous connection right this is two people that love each other that care about each other genuinely this is wish fulfillment this connection but the five of pentacles is under it and the devil is under the star but then we have the three of pentacles which i'm picking up is like a third party and it's the ten of cups is under that that doesn't even make sense to me because that's like something is is an illusion and then we have the four of pentacles bottom of the deck is possessiveness it's control you know, it's being greedy. It's, I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> That's really fucking weird. Someone could have a Pisces, Mars, a Taurus, Mercury. But. Let's just see what this is. <laughs> so this could be. So there could be somebody in someone's family or someone that someone has children with. Maybe you or your person. I'm not sure that has children with that wants to be a third party in a situation where they need to scooch the fuck out of the way excuse me could be dealing with a Taurus. i keep seeing the higher thing this is weird somebody doesn't want you to see that someone is wish fulfillment or something like that what's the star the death card the hierophant and the strength damn three majors leo taurus scorpio what's the star right here spirit what's the star somebody could just simply want you to leave someone out in the cold here it's this is weird what's the star i'm not picking up on a yeah the moon <laughs> There is fear, like I said, but I feel like there's some sort of like illusion here. <clears throat> Whatever this connection is, is a part of your destiny. The truth. Yeah, it's a source. Something is a part of your destiny here. Could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Some of y'all, like I said, though, this isn't about a connection. I mean, for most of you, it probably is, though. Some of y'all are really scared to, to be in the spotlight. You don't want to be in the spotlight here. There could be something that you're supposed to be going towards, too, that I feel like you're nervous about or you're worried about it or something like that. The moon is like lies and deception, deceit. Someone, this, what's the moon with the star? Is really fucking weird libra i don't know what i'm picking up right now what's the star with the moon yeah the ten of swords so you are healing um libra from something someone is paying for some of you guys someone here is paying for magic to be done on you either they're doing it themselves or you're doing it i mean well shit, it could be another libra either they're they're paying for it or um they're actually doing it to you themselves I'm sorry, y'all. Hopefully, y'all can hear me. That's annoying. But the Ten of Swords, yeah. So, this is Gemini energy. You could be dealing with a Gemini. I have Gemini in your chart. 
So yeah, there was a betrayal here. Something that, that somebody is not saying right now. Okay, about... You're, you're not saying too much about this here. I just feel like you're trying to be silent and just be at peace. You know, you're going to get what you want at the end of the day. I feel like something could be quite painful. Though. I feel like you've been through something like very tragic or this is your person. All right. But this Ten of Swords is definitely a betrayal. Somebody here tried to betray a star or try to hurt somebody that's that's known here or something like that that's a healer with the star or humanitarian type energy okay some of y'all could be astrologers you could be into the occult and things like that too but yeah there you yeah, had a devil popping out again you could be dealing with a capricorn we have you here libra or taurus with the empress somebody is obsessed with someone else <laughs> They're upset. Somebody's obsessed with hurting somebody. What's the two of cups? Yeah, the high priestess in reverse. Yeah, there's a seven of cups and the three of pentacles. This is an illusion. <laughs> you could be dealing with a Pisces. So I feel like I feel like what I'm getting to, Libra, is somebody doing work in silence here. Somebody is trying to possibly bring a connection back in silence because with the high priestess in reverse, I'm getting in the two of cups. There's a connection here where there's a lot of unwanted attention and I feel like it's spiritual. It's dark. Okay, the high priestess in reverse talks about self-doubt. I feel like you could be losing faith or you were losing faith in the connection, but I feel like you you know what's going on here. So your faith wa wavers. Your faith, um, your faith wavers a little bit because of this illusion, whatever this is. It's like one minute you're like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna fight for this, or I want this, or whatever, or I know this is it. But then you get like upset because you, the the situation has not panned out how you wanted it to yet. Is what I'm getting to. This could be this is spell work though, right here. Somebody just wants you to move on. <laughs> is what I'm getting to. The high priestess is somebody that cannot control themselves either. They're very, they're not disciplined. Okay, this is somebody with a blocked fucking intuition and they act out. Somebody that is just out of control and they're loud. This is somebody that, that has outbursts. So somebody here is bringing unwanted attention to a two of cups, like a connection that you have with somebody. Okay, yeah, it's like they dark too, this person. The high priestess in reverse always gives dark witch, especially here on the board with the devil. Somebody is dark as fuck. <laughs> Somebody could also be sexually frustrated too. <laughs> What's this, the high priestess in reverse with the two of cups? Yeah, Knight of Cups in reverse. Somebody that's stirring up trouble. Pisces energy again. Make sure you go watch Pisces reading. This Knight of Cups is somebody, like I said, that's obsessed. They're stirring. They're causing chaos. Someone that's very emotionally manipulative. This person is blocked intuitively. They can't even... They, this person just can't even get themselves together. I feel like somebody here is a cheater too. They're cheating. They're lying. Okay, they're doing a whole bunch of shit. Being deceptive and just... They're a mess. Whoever this Knight of Cups is in reverse, they're getting left out on the cold too because, bitch, somebody here wants to be with someone else. They don't want to be with you. So I feel like that's why they're mad. <laughs> Child, yeah, rejected. Four of Cups, Ten of Wands. Yeah, the Tower of the Devil. Yeah, somebody is mad. I feel like they're mad at you, Divine Feminine. <laughs> Empress. <laughs> Because things is definitely about to go in your favor, but somebody is definitely like thinking of ways to like betray this or 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 fuck this connection up or whatever this is, man. But there is definitely dark magic being. Uh, I, I felt it when in the beginning. This is like bad news here. <laughs> when it comes in reverse, somebody's getting bad news. They're about to get some bad news about this connection and about this shit coming together. Yeah, the temperance, about the shit being healed or whatever. You know, what's the three of pentacles? The six of pentacles. Someone could have a Taurus moon. 
Yeah, so somebody here could want to stay in a contract with you, Libra. It could be marriage. It could be anything. Maybe you had some obligation to somebody or somebody had obligation to someone else, a third party. They Somebody here needs help. They need support, but they're getting ignored or rejected. Somebody wants someone else to be on bending knee like every fucking day, every time they call. But they only do that shit to have control over the other person. Somebody's a loser. <laughs> That's what they are. Six of Pentacles is equal give and take, though. It's reciprocity. Some of you guys could be getting a new job or you're just you're just working really hard here. Okay, that's nine pentacles right there. So somebody is free. Like I said, they've broken free from something. I was looking at this bird on this cage. You know, um, this angel letting this bird out of this cage here. Somebody is freeing something here. They found the key to what the problem is, why they felt so trapped or stuck or whatever. There's somebody's spirit team is working hard to free someone to bring balance, especially within your finances, Libra, or your persons. Somebody here is greedy as fuck. What's uh the Six of Pentacles? Some of you guys could, like I said, be getting a new job. Or there's somebody here that's going to be generous towards you. But what's the Six of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles? Yeah, see what I'm saying? The Empress, the Emperor in reverse. Wow, then we have the Empress and the Devil. That's crazy. Yeah, like I said, though, somebody just is abusing their position of authority. That's all that they're doing. This could be baby mama, baby daddy. This could be any but damn body. Father, mother, sister, brother. That's karmic. They're karmic to you, though, or your person. Someone just likes to, someone has a sick fetish, like seeing somebody here beg and plead and be struggling. Somebody is a weirdo. This is a weird bitch. <laughs> like, I'm just going to say it like that. For some of you guys, this could be your masculine here that actually needs help or support. They're lacking a bit of structure. They could need help, but their spirit team is working to give them the help that they need because, um... They could be lacking support right now financially um, and stability with the Emperor in reverse. This could also be someone, too, that could be having issues here with their father, with uh, their children. This could be a father here that is, um, they're having paternity issues with their children. Yeah, somebody tried to keep someone stuck to keep them giving money when they ass is running around cheating they're being a hoe the high priest is in reverse and the knight of cups in reverse somebody can't control their sexual energy this person is dark as fuck too they're really fucking dark they are could be an aries here that's your opposite sign libra something about kids and a family or something like that But yeah, there's like people working together to do something to this damn emperor or do something to you here. Or this emperor is doing something to you, working with other people to keep you caged in. What? Because y'all got kids and a family or because they're a just a fucking loser? <laughs> all of it. All the above. What's the devil? Some of you guys, though, if you are needing help with your finances, I do see it coming in, though. You, somebody's going to be generous enough to help you, but... Make sure you're watching out for that, though, because somebody could be, like, dangling shit in front of your face, like, you know I got the help you need. Why are you not coming to me? That's a setup, because they just want you to get caught back in this trap again, so you need to be careful. Don't be taking nothing from these hoes. Trust and divine guidance. <laughs> okay, yeah, but somebody is definitely, like I said, there's an ex here, another another lover or someone that someone was with it, that's tied to somebody spiritually. They're, like, binded or something like that to somebody that's unhealthy and is weighing this is weighing this person down or is weighing this connection down for some of you somebody is just somebody is like spiritually they're not they're not okay they're really sick okay um this could also be someone here they have an std or something like that and they did this out of revenge or they they got with somebody else for out of revenge or something Someone, like I said, they want you to get fed up and too burdened to, so that so you can walk away. And this is somebody's plot here with the five of swords or they want this person to feel that way. This is a losing ass. Whoever this is, this is a damn. This is a peasant. What's the devil? <laughs> What's the devil? I, I cannot with this. Yeah, the seven of cups. Look at this fucking illusion, honey. So I got a Scorpio Venus. What's the devil with the seven of cups? 
the five of cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody wants to make you seem like you're not doing the healing work or you're not over them. Somebody wants you to hold resentment or hold some type of grudge to your person or something like that. When you're healed here, you're healed, you're fine, you understand everything that's going on. It's like you know what's going on here. And then I saw the Empress. Where did I see that damn Empress at, honey? The Empress. Yeah, I saw the Empress with the Devil, the Tower, and the Three of Swords a couple times. But I think, obviously, I shuffled and mixed it up in here. Yeah, there's the Empress now with the Lovers. And the. this is somebody's child's mother. This is a child's... This is a baby mother that's doing this weird shit. Or it could be a baby daddy. Flip switch it. Who cares about the gender? They Both of them, if it's a man and a woman doing it, they stupid. All of them. But, yeah, this is this is just... Somebody wants you to be stuck on them. They want to make you feel like you're not healing or you're not moving on or you're you're upset and all that. What's the seven of cups and you're not? I feel like you're moving on fine. What's the seven of cups? Yeah, the strength card. Just, child, you could be dealing with a Leo. Someone here is trying to keep you tame. They really trying to keep you locked up <laughs> or bind you to them or whatever that they doing, honey. They doing all type of shit to win this. <laughs> this is this is a loser. Yeah, the justice with the three of wands. Some of you guys could have won a court case. Now somebody is pissed off, honey. And you know you can't take, oh, somebody doing spell work on me in court because that's just, I wish it was like that, but it's not. A lot of these hoes and a lot of these false ass prophets and priests and Christians and religious motherfuckers, they'd be going down real quick. <laughs> I promise. Cause that's what it be going that's what be going on. Just keeping it real. But yeah, this is this is bullshit here. This is some bullshit. I feel like you're overcoming this though, but you do feel the illusions. What's the five of cups in reverse? I'm so sick of them doing that right here. It's raining outside. Go to bed. <laughs> or go go somewhere else. Go take a break. So the tower, Aries, yeah, Aries. The Nine of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, in the in the y'all are battling a lot of warfare and the will of fortune. There's a lot of chaos and things happening, but they're turning out in your favor though, for sure. The will of fortune with the eight of wands and the eight of swords and the star. That's so weird, right? Because the star is here again with this ten of swords and the moon. It's like, what? So somebody is targeting a star. Someone here is targeting. I feel like someone is targeting someone in the public eye. They're targeting both of y'all, though. Ciao. Yeah, the tower... <laughs> Somebody is mad because you're not mad. You're not moved by whatever the fuck this is. You're chilling. There's there's a lot of destruction here and chaos going on because you're not bothered. So somebody's trying to really make you so bothered. They want to keep you bothered and make you upset because they life is falling apart because they're not their magic isn't working or whatever and it's wearing off or whatever the fuck is going on here. What's the five of pentacles? Yeah, somebody is breaking free damn with that um yeah the three of wands in reverse <laughs> somebody is pissed off because you're returning you're returning somewhere your person is strong aries here leo pisces okay somebody this is somebody from you or your person's past that just won't let you go here they're so stuck on the past and right now they're lacking foresight they can't expand or plan how they want to because they don't know what's ahead. Their intuition is blocked. They're being stripped of their spiritual gifts for abusing them. Whoever the fuck this is. And they broke. They're sitting out here left out in the cold. So they're stirring up chaos, causing trouble. Sending you the evil eye. Doing whatever the fuck they're doing here with the spell word. Child, this is like a... Lack of confidence to a, a failed partnership or a failed long distance relationship. Somebody wants to make you feel like this can't come together. So regardless, they, they just want to make you feel like this is never happening. Let's see what um 
what's the five of pentacles with the three of wands in reverse yeah four of cups <laughs> somebody is so discontent honey they are so fucking mad yeah that you're free and unbothered six of cups the sun the nine of pentacles and the page of wands there could be some sort of like communication from this person that has this ex that's like this this person is so pissed off yeah, something did happen in court. Somebody got news in court about something about, could be about children and getting out of this crazy ass contract. They are pissed. <laughs> or this could be a spiritual contract. Obviously that's broken, but something could have had to happen in a 3D to really break this contract. Yeah, now somebody's moving forward, period. Period. Eight of cups, six of swords, and the ace of wands. And then we have this shit behind it. Seven of swords, the judgment, the world. Somebody is moving. Someone here could be traveling. They're stuck. Whoever this is right here that's being left out in the code, their options are like stuck. They're restricted. They just don't. They're they're mad. So now they're sitting here stuck on you. Or stuck on your person. They don't want no new options. They like, I want that one. But they want that one only because they're they're a jealous whore. And they sitting up here broke. They was using somebody for what finances and things like that what's the ten of cups man this is the empress <laughs> oh wow who's this empress the hangman and the seven of pentacles Someone gonna have a Taurus, Saturn, Cancer, Moon. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles, the Five of Wands. There's that Three of Pentacles again. It's somebody in y'all's connection. That's just what it is. That's what it is here. This person, I feel like, okay, so I'm getting obviously two situations. This Empress having a problem with this Empress. Um, I don't, this bitch is not an Empress. They're just somebody that could just be pregnant. Okay. <laughs> like, they're just somebody that could be pregnant. And somebody is realizing something about this person, okay, that, that they're pregnant or they're, they're having some sort of like paternity issues with this empress here, with this this karmic that's posing as an empress. They asked to sit up here pregnant, but it was to trap somebody or to keep them stuck. Somebody's realizing the trap. They're realizing what's going on here with the a lot of evaluating, a lot of looking into something here, a lot of realization here with the hangman. That's somebody's crown chakra and third eye activated. I feel like this masculine is figuring this out they're trying to get their stability together though then i'm getting this is an actual empress a divine feminine a star that's why i'm getting that this somebody is in love with you're you're in love with this person they're in love with you blah 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 and someone is just causing illusions they're bringing illusions to you about who your happily ever after is who your ten of cups is who you belong with empress they're so mad about this contract here that's forming or coming together or whatever yeah 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 look at this a lot of y'all this is definitely a twin flame connection i know one when i see it ace of cups the page of cups and the four of wands some of y'all if this is not a twin you have new love coming in and your ex is just a bitter hoe yeah four of pentacles with the five of swords they're just a bitter ass loser <laughs> that's all Yeah, so this is you awakened. You see something for what it is here. Your perspective is shifting. You're looking at something differently. I feel like this happens a lot though, Libra, where you are in and out of, I wouldn't say consciousness, but you have these periods where um, you really be like, fuck your masculine. But at the end of the day, that's really not how you feel, right? That's I feel like that's an illusion. Because you know what's going on here, but somebody is in the background. They're trying to make you make it seem like you don't know what you're talking about or whatever the fuck with this fucking spell work or whatever. You know, this is messy. But one more for this Empress. This is like reassessing something, looking into something. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. Yeah. 
for a lot of you guys somebody here is pregnant this person is pregnant and they try to keep this masculine in this fucking contract spirit is working hard to get them out of this contract you're not about to keep me stuck with your whole ass you want to run around and do whatever the fuck you want to do then that's on you dummy <laughs> you're not gonna have me there to take care of you somebody's a leech there a moocher but with the ace of cups somebody is probably probably is pregnant okay just period but if this is an empress which i feel like it is for a lot of you um you're getting ready to get this love offer for some of you this is new love or or new love has came into your life but every time some of y'all might move on and get new love make sure you go watch pisces reading you might move on and find new love here right but it's never you never stay with those people or that person because that's not your person spirit wants you to be with a person in particular okay it's what it looks like it's what i'm getting and yeah you don't sit back and wait but i feel like anybody else you meet right now it just doesn't work out let me know in the comments if that resonates it don't work out because spirit has you has you paired with somebody already that y'all supposed y'all supposed to be working together, but there's this ex or whoever the fuck these bitter hoes is in somebody's family. They raggedy ass, broke down ass, slow ass family that's doing the spell work. Yeah, now they sitting up here homeless, so, endangered to themselves, put in harm's way. Yeah, somebody was saying that they oh I'm gonna kill myself and well you know what if that's how if that's what you wanted to do you would have did it. Don't let nobody manipulate you and say, oh, I'm going to kill myself. Well, bitch, if that's what your ass wanted to do, I guess you would have did it by then. Don't announce it to me. And that's not to be a bitch about it. That's some real shit. Like, don't try to manipulate me into staying with you because you're saying you're killing yourself. You need to do something about that. <laughs> you're not about to hold me responsible for some shit that you did on your own. That's your own fucking decision. People do that shit all the time and it's fucking weird and it's fucking acceptable. Period. Yeah, homeless again. Ciao, bye. <laughs> but there's there's a new opportunity coming in or this is you just awakening to how much you really love your person. I feel like you've been waiting here. You've been stuck waiting for this person too. It's like you've been really, really waiting. But as time goes on, you do a lot of self-evaluation. You do a lot of work on yourself. And I feel like, honestly, that's probably what the focus needs to be because... God is working on something behind the scenes. That's all I'm going to say. It's just unfortunate. It's an unfortunate situation, but I don't see it. I don't see where you're not going to get it, <laughs> to be honest. So what else? Let's see. Let's... Yeah, look at this hoe. Salty, bitter, angry, and agitated. And then we have smooth talker, deceptive words to trick. Yeah, somebody is like really in secret trying to figure out what to say or what to do. Or maybe this person could be trying to come towards you, Empress. Or they want to make you seem like, they want to make it seem like this Emperor really don't fuck with you for it. That's not true. I don't feel like that's true. Yeah, private investigator, inspector gadget, exposed, truth revealed. Yeah, now somebody's mad. So somebody got investigated or something, or they went to court and got, they got their ass handed to them. That's what the fuck they get. What else? Things turned out in this person's favor. Your person's is what I feel like, or you. Yeah. <laughs> Access baggage. The past is weighing them down. Yep. And then admiring from afar. They can look, but they can't touch. Yeah, that's your person. Something from their past is weighing them down. It's this fucking loser. This baby mama, this ratchet, raggedy ass. Baby mama, baby daddy, whoever it is, honey. Or family, whoever. What else? Somebody is really... Then we have intimidation. Yeah, causing worry and triggering fear. Bougie. I'm so fancy. Yeah, somebody's materialistic. They try to keep this emperor caught up in this contract, probably with a child that's not fucking theirs or whatever the fuck. They try to legally bind this person to them too. Obviously, it says cult, strange and sinister. So we know that's happening. I can see it here. But then on top of that, they try to legally bind themselves to this person because what? They got children or... Uh, but that shit is phony. It's a lot about that situation that's phony as fuck. Yeah, this some bullshit. 808 on the clock. Somewhere here try to keep someone paying all their bills and 
doing whatever else, bitch, get a job. Get a job like a normal fucking human being, honey. We all got to be down here and work. Find what you need to figure out. Find your purpose and get your ass up and go to work. Somebody is a loser. They're just, they're just pathetic. What else? Unconditional love. Love without limits. Diva. Difficult to please. Yeah. Jealous of your beauty. Insecure and intimidated. <laughs> This person is sending a whole bunch of shit your way now. They they are enraged, <laughs> Libra. I got I think I got this your last reading. But yeah, there's an illusion around this situation where there's unconditional love here. Or this person is trying to make them may, trying to convince this masculine that they unconditionally love them when it's fake, it's false, it's phony. But I feel like this is this warfare on this connection. You and this person love each other. It's never going anywhere. They know that y'all are twins, they know that y'all belong together, blah blah blah. Uh, right? It's like the same shit with these hoes. Different day. And now I feel like with Diva, difficult to please. I don't feel like you're difficult to please. I just feel like your standards have raised. Or somebody wants you to have your standards so high to the point where you don't want to let this masculine back in. I feel like, you know, it's not to play a tit for tat game with this person. But if you know, you know, right, Libra? Like, if you know that this is your person, you know there's warfare. There's a lot of spiritual shit. Like, this is a very deep connection to the point where people are trying to keep y'all apart and y'all are being sacrificed. That's, and yeah, extraterrestrial, out of this world. Something that is very important, I feel like. I feel like this connection is very important here. All right. But, you know... Just do what spirit is asking you to do. That's all I can say. I can't really tell you how to do anything um, when it comes down to how your twin flame dynamic is. Because it's different for everybody. But I feel like most twin flame relationships, they kind of like go the same way. If you have a real twin, then you just know. A lot of people don't really have twins. They don't know what that is. Or they don't know how the twin flame connections work. Twins are very spiritual. It's a very spiritual connection. And there's there usually is a lot of warfare going on here you're in separation for some reason and it's usually deeper than what you can see on the surface it usually do be some dark shit going on but i guess let me know in the comments what else yeah celebrating quietly mom's the word and cult strange and sinister yeah they, they mad they pissed they 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 working up something or they doing something here to keep y'all two just apart. It's like, well, if I can't have you, nobody else can. This is some fatal attraction bullshit. They're a weirdo. This is a weirdo. What else? Crunk. High and crazy. And then we have bigot. Prejudiced and antagonistic. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, in too deep, no way out. Bitter, hard pill to swallow. Refusing treatment, prolonging pain or life. Yeah, it's like, girl... Go to see the fucking doctor, honey. That's what you need to be doing. Because you look a mess. You look a fucking mess. This is somebody's family, too, that's doing this shit. Somebody's family is in on this. Their whole family is a... a somebody's the leader of this fucking cult. But their whole family is on this shit here. This is a strange-ass... Demonic-ass reading. Somebody here could get high up pills or they take a certain kind of drug or they drink too fucking much or something this deck is called prophecies the fortune tellers oracle child by what else for libra it says you may find a time of sadness and sorrow that surrounds you within the near future be gentle be kind gentle and nurture yourself at this time yeah is somebody here projecting onto you, Libra? So just pay attention to that. You will soon rise above a conflict that has challenged you in the past, which will allow you to move forward towards happier times ahead. That's why the stars here in the main spread. Because you could be feeling this warfare. You could be feeling sad. You feel sad. You miss your person or you're agitated or whatever. A secret that has been kept from you will be revealed soon. Yeah. The star talks about a positive turnaround in the situation. 
where things are blurry. You can't really see too much right now. You just know that you've been betrayed. You're going to get what you want at the end of the day. I feel like you're going to get the answers that you want. I feel like you're going to get exactly what it is you want because you know it's yours. Whether it's this bitch's ex, this is your fucking man, your relationship, and that's just what it is. Or your girlfriend or whoever. I'm like, that's just what it is, bro. Like, <clears throat> bitch, when it's time for the comics to go and two people to be together, they go. Uh, just period whether they like it or not and especially when they have bad intentions this bitch is a loser and they sitting up here doing all this fucking spell work and still not getting what they want at the end of the day like a dumbass it's probably been working for a couple years or more than a couple years but it's not anymore honey let it go it says you are being guided to expand your horizons at this time and leave your comfort zones behind try to be open to new opportunities that will soon come your way for some of you somebody here is moving they're traveling okay somebody is moving okay and then it says a time of evolution and growth of self approaches you approaches you will feel a higher frequency of energy surrounding you in comparison to recent past mm -hmm. We have um, a troublesome situation will arise, but you will not turn out, but will not turn out as bad as you expect. Yeah. And then we have unexpected help will arrive from another. I'm telling you, whoever this is, is getting, somebody is getting help here. Somebody is getting help for something. Okay. It's, it's your spirit team for some of you, or could it be actually actual person in the 3D, but somebody's going to help this emperor, just period. They're struggling with their stability. And I feel like that's what this person is using against them. Like, oh, I'm, I'm going to take everything from you. If you leave, bitch, take it. <laughs> take it with your broke ass. Take it and go on about your business. Like, a heartbreak will come to pass. A marriage will soon take place. Child, <laughs> somebody is leaving something behind, leaving this dark, sinister shit behind and moving into something that's more of substance and it's better. 4141 on the timer. That's more healing. That's more peaceful. This is some dark shit right here that somebody is in. And they didn't know about. It says you will soon meet someone new that is part of your soul family. A deep friendship will form that will help you further evolve. Yeah, I feel like that's you and your person. Somebody is jealous of y'all's connection. A secret that has been kept from you will, will soon be revealed. Okay, that shit came out. So, yeah. Your friend, this this could be your friend, quote unquote, but y'all getting ready to be in a connection. Period. <laughs> so, what else? Y'all friends right now. For right now. Who did I tell that to? Sagittarius? It says, you will soon embark upon a creative project that will enrich your life and benefit you in prosperous ways. Yeah, this bitch right here was blocking your finances or your, your person's. They sure was. Be mindful of your surroundings and the company you keep as you will be feeling sensitive to the energies of others at this time, which could in turn affect your vibrations. Yeah. The loss of a loved one will be inevitable. Spirit will send you supportive energies at this time. Damn. I mean, whoever's sitting up here and is caught doing this dark, sinister bullshit, they're probably going to be the ones that's going to be judged that way. Like they're probably going to be the ones that's going to leave. Some of you, these people have to literally leave this earth in order for y'all to have success here. Somebody has done enough shit. So if it's your time to go, bitch, I guess it just is. You shouldn't be doing this stupid shit. You shouldn't be doing this lame shit to nobody. You cursing your own fucking life. And the same shit you're inflicting on this empress and this emperor, these divine masculine, divine feminines. You can't even take yourself. So why do you think, I mean, if it's bouncing off them, where do you think it's going to go back to? <laughs> I mean, what else, spirit? That's not even to be mean. That's some real shit. You may soon face an unexpected loss that will affect your finances and cause constraints. Plan ahead and budget for a rainy day. Yeah, that's right under this, whatever this shit is right here. Yeah, with this emperor in reverse. Someone close to you who is ill will recover. Bridges will soon be mended. An apology from someone close to you will soon come in, creating the opportunity to make amends. Someone who is destined to be in your life will soon enter if you make room by clearing out the energy of another who is no longer suited for you and the expectation that they will change. Create the change you desire. 
And then it says, you will soon be met with a surprise from spirit as a reward for a perseverance and dedication throughout your struggles. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you about to reap what you have sown here. You definitely about to get some good karma for some of you it's in the form of new love. I feel like spirit is hiding exactly what you're going to get here. But you're getting ready to get something that you like, whatever the fuck it is. Some of y'all could be a baby. It could be, I don't know. But you're getting ready to start a family with somebody it look like. Some of you, this is you getting your fucking masculine or your, your empress. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, many unexpected surprises will present for you this year. That will bring about many new blessings. Yeah, there's a surprise coming. It's fell over this, this empress or whoever the empress is. They're getting a surprise. I guess you'll be able to tell when it comes in. There's someone who is destined to be in your life. They're destined to be in your life. So whatever is destined, God is going to make a way to regardless. <laughs> Whether you get rerouted a million and one times, it's going to happen. So somebody needs to let it the fuck go. But anyways, Libra, <laughs> this is your reading. I hope it resonated. <laughs> um, let me know in the comments how this is going for you. Um, like, comment, subscribe. <clears throat> Turn your notification bell on. Make sure you guys press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.